Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video. And people filming their most embarrassing moments has always been something very common nowadays on social media. Now, a lot of people will just always just film themselves literally with an encounter with somebody for anything. I don't even know what it could be, but they always like to film themselves to validate themselves being right and their audience being on their side. But instead, what really happens is that no one is on their side. And yeah, they look like the big clown for filming themselves in the first place. But also, a lot of people just film them themselves throughout their whole private life. Any life circumstances that you have that really shouldn't be public, nor really the audience should really ever really view in the first place. I don't understand how people have that sort of mentality on social media where every aspect of their life has to be documented to their viewers and yet they have to like be on the side of support. It's a very, very weird thing nowadays. But very recently, there's been a live stream that's been out of a woman named Elisa Jordana and started completely just beating up his uh, ex-boyfriend, like actually assaulting him on camera. I, I don't understand where the self-awareness is for, for her to realize that. It's pretty much just an unhinged live stream throughout and it's pretty much just stirred a massive uh, reaction online so i just want to just show you little clips of it and just give you my thoughts of it but like the thing is heidi is that he lied so much to me he lied so much to me and he lied and he's told her like he told her i'm just like a streamer and it was just an investment and like the whole time he was talking to me he was talking to her the whole time the whole time and i saw everything that he said to her it's all the same shit he said to me and now i'm not going to show you every single clip from the live stream now i'm just going to summarize what the clips are that i've shown you to really get an understanding of the whole situation so Alyssa has just found out that her ex-partner has cheated on her and in a general consensus of things, being cheated on really does suck, okay? It's not a good um, prospect to be in, <laughs> like even if there even was one. But anyways, so obviously she's very upset that she's been cheated on. She's found um, the messages that he was sending to the girl that he's been hooking up with, just all the messages and everything, and she's pretty much having a... She can't really control her emotions to the situation knowing what has happened. I can imagine like being in that situation is a very difficult thing to to handle. There's obviously a lot of emotions, a lot of tension and you, you know naturally it's um, it is traumatizing but the whole thing really shouldn't be public and I find it strange that she has all these emotions but yet starts filming this whole encounter. I don't understand how she doesn't really realize this, that this is really a private matter or private dispute between her and her partner. It, it really makes no sense that really that should be made public and somehow her audience has to engage with. So it pretty much just starts pretty much from there. But the whole way she handles this whole live stream is truly awful. Yeah, but why, why are you crying? Why am I crying? Because I was in therapy yes. and I found out that the whole time I was seeing Scoro, he was texting the same shit to like some 20 year old and sending her money on Venmo. Yeah, but why are you surprised? I'm not surprised, Brandon. I'm not surprised. Actually, I'll go yeah. to Tanger's Outlets right here. I just don't get why you would cry over him, dude. Like, you okay. already got money. You already supposedly got money from him. I did, but he still was very bad, Brandon. Yeah, so what do you think would happen if you're going to marry him this and that? I'm not marrying him, Brandon. I'm obviously not yeah, marrying him. Yeah, but I'm saying if you... Her attention span while she is driving is really non-existent. Like, first of all, she has her phone literally just waving around as if she's talking to people. I don't know if she's actually talking to people because it's pretty strange because most cars nowadays would have Bluetooth. So I don't understand why she would do that. But she's pretty much just holding her phone and also looking at the uh, the viewing angle of her footage she's also got literally a phone right in front of her while she's driving now i don't know whether that aspect is considered illegal i could be wrong because it's like a hands free but but one thing i could really say is that she is massively distracted on the road and 
she's pretty much just having this whole um, meltdown about it while she's driving. Like, God forbid, like, if you're on that road and she's around, you better have some prayers lying down because, you know, you may not be a survivor from this. But she literally has no attention span. You can literally just see her head and her eyeballs that she's just moving around. And then all of a sudden, she just makes this unexpected U-turn out of nowhere. And the driver that beeped, you know, right behind her had every single right to do that. It's an unexpected U-turn and it could have really ended off in a bad collision because no driver would expect that sort of reaction whilst they're driving. Now, not only she's committing crimes with the manner of her driving and her sheer distraction, but also she's also committing crimes by taking his personal information as well. So I think she has his wallet, as which has his personal information, like his driving license and also using his money. Like, this is also illegal as well. You can't do that. Now, I'm going to speed run the rest of the uh, the live stream. So she ends up going to the mall. She still has her um, meltdown whilst she's live streaming. She's engaging with her audience and her, her chat, still getting donations, which has been, I think, a frequent from this live stream, I guess. And... It's pretty strange that somehow people are donating money to her and somehow coming to support for her for some of the things that she does. It's crazy, but I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But she's pretty much just having a meltdown in the mall, just reading the live stream. And then she ends up seeing, his, seeing her ex-partner outside whilst a police officer is there. And she actually commits the first act of assault on her literally right in front of the police officer and the police officer doesn't hold back in telling her that you put you put your, your hands on him i've seen that and you could go to jail and she pretty much doesn't really take that that sort of aspect of information and then somehow which is a bit of a weird video she's ends up driving whilst he's in the passenger seat and the whole thing from here just is Pretty much a real disaster. Oh, okay, Sarah! Oh my god, yay! Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, Sarah, how are you? How are you, Sarah? I got him. Hi! Can you... Thanks so much for calling. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Face with tears of joy you. donated $5. You're no angel, Elisa. So, uh, what's going on? Uh... I'd love to hear from your side what's going on. So what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your nudes. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna text them to you so you can see what. Do like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and you know different sentences that he. Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah. We're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. Fucking. Uh, so don't worry. Um, but yeah. So yeah, he's coming. Don't worry. He's coming home. Uh, she's just like almost broke my nose. I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, and he said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop uh, texting him. But I saw what? the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? She's half your age. She's half your age. So, as you can likely tell, she starts assaulting him in the vehicle. Now, bear in mind, a police officer literally warned her before before they both got into the vehicle and drove off, that she literally put her hands on him. And, you know, the fact that, she, you know, she did that to him, she she could have been in jail. But yet still somehow manages to continue this whilst live to her audience. It, I can't understand how that doesn't make sense. Now, the whole thing is just disturbing to watch. Like, literally just watching this is like someone being held hostage by a prisoner. It's like a terrorist organization literally just filmed their whole thing and they just watched this as sort of torture pleasure. I'm assuming that's what her audience literally looks at this video and seems what they feel like. Now, another thing I also want to mention as well, like, literally you saw one of the, uh, the chat donations there. They literally use this whole Mexican phrase a lot throughout this um the whole course of that live stream she ends up like and giving the uh, the personal information of his information as well as the uh, the girl involved sarah that she ends up calling referring to her as this dumb mexican giving her address and everything to her audience which again is illegal you can't give personal information you know 
on your live stream to other people. That's an invasion of privacy and it's also endangering them, especially for anything that could really happen, like whether her audience or anyone on social media could literally go and, you know, to their address and just, you know, find them and just, you know, do something like, you know, illegal. Like you, you can't like give personal information like that. But yet somehow she's like on this live stream, literally so unaware to the situation. And she doesn't really seem to compute to anything, but yet somehow just starts assaulting him, being racist, her fans being racist. Like the fans just keep piggy banking her with all these donations, which just, you know, keep encouraging this thing. It's a total vile live stream. And I, I don't understand how like her supporters or anyone who supports this, like literally has any defense for it. You're all simps. You're literally got nothing good and value. And the fact that you can't view this with any sense of humanity in yourself to understand the vile behavior of what she's doing is so sickening. Now I did a cut, a cut a portion of the live stream at the end because I wasn't so sure how um, YouTube would, would view this, especially with all the, um, the assaults in this video. But it did end up with um, the guy actually uh, manhandling her and restraining her. So he restrained her and got her out of the vehicle. And many, many people brought this up as self-defense, which to be fair, I agree with. He was completely assaulted by her throughout the whole live stream, literally on camera, no excuse. So for, for him to put his hands on her and, you know, try and restrain her to get her out of the vehicle, I think was the right thing to do. She's pretty much, you know, a ticking time bomb on the road like literally a complete danger to every road user just so distracted with the chat and the phones and uh, it's it's so brain rot how people how brain rot people can get sometimes but after the live stream cut up she got arrested i don't know the information of any charges that ended up happening but what ended up happening afterwards, um, the video was um, deleted immediately and she did end up, you know, with an apology, but I couldn't find from any of her social media that there was an apology. So I wasn't so sure about that. But yeah, the whole live stream is terrible and awful throughout. I don't understand how there's any sort of content or influence behind it. And you know, people who are like donating as well throughout this whole portion of the live stream, encouraging this sort of behavior, you, you know, you guys are sick as well. And really you need to um, find some actual proper people who can actually be good influencers because people like that are just complete trash. Now, I don't know whether this is the worst live stream I've watched. It's pretty much right up there. But anyways, disturbing video all around. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. And yeah, see you later.